Abigail. <laughs> Stella, what? come here. I gotta put you on blast. Why? What's up, guys? Welcome to the vlog. My wife is freaking out. She's losing her mind right now. You don't even understand. So we have realtors coming to look at this house uh, for the owners of this house. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go back and watch another vlog. Uh, yeah, so Priscilla's freaking out right now because we got people coming to this house They'll this morning. They'll be here in an hour. Yeah, to see you know what needs to be done for the owner of this house so that they can sell it. And Priscilla's freaking out. She thinks everybody's going to judge her. I mean, it's a little bit messy right it's now. It's not. You're not a messy housekeeper person. <laughs> it's not messy. It is in my eyes. She's they're going to be like, out. yep, they typical renters. Oh typical they renters. Don't they don't care, just... Priscilla. They're here to like, do they need to paint? Do they mm -hmm. need to replace the carpet? What, you know, do they need to update this? They need, you know, that's what they're here for. They don't, I know, but in the back they don't of their care mind, that you like, need to do a load of laundry. You know what? Or five. They're, <laughs> they're not going to be like, man, his house is really messy. They're going to be like, that girl. I, I love how you think because together. they're realtors, like they have like show homes. They do. That they live in. Oh, gosh. You, you, you live in a Stressed. fantasy world. Stop stressing. Look, your house is beautiful. Look at her house, y'all. Don't, don't show Look. it. What are you talking about? I mean, what, because the remotes are out? Look, oh my God, there's a suitcase on the floor, guys, from my trip. I don't even know. Sella, we're heathens. What's your plan? <laughs> so I've got laundry that needs to be done. So I just made my bed, and I'm going to throw my clean clothes on there. And I'm going to fold it while they're there so they make it look like I've planned it. Because I'm a good wife. It's doing my laundry. So I need to have realtors come to the house all the time so you <laughs> fold the laundry. <laughs> I'm not good at laundry, okay? I'm good at a lot of things. Laundry is not one of them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why are you stressing? Calm I'm down. so stressed. Ooh, like, stop. Just breathe. Breathe. Dude, come on. We gotta move. Okay. Stop vlogging. We have to get this crap done. Brush, brush, brush. Brush, brush. Brush, brush. Not just that tooth. Do other teeth. Yeah, I'll bring it down. Brush, brush. Girl, what happened to your nose? What did you do? Oh, don't touch my shirt with your toothbrush. Ah. Would you stop? You stop. Stop it. Brush. <laughs> Shit on your hair first. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. Oh, uh, yeah. Get the bottoms. Get the fronts. Ooh. I think they're here. Really? Maybe. Ooh. Abby, are they here? Do we start freaking out? Oh my gosh. I don't see them. There's nobody here, Priscilla. She's freaking out, Nanny. They saw how bad it was and kept going. <laughs> Gotta replace Abby's bracelet. It's tearing. Well, just the, the silicone part we replace. People ask about her bracelet all the time. Her bracelet is from Road ID. We've had a Road ID bracelet for her Gosh, like seven years now. Long time. We've yeah. been we've been doing business with Road ID. Um, yeah, so it's just like a silicone band with a metal clasp that she can't get open because it's got like a special lock doohickey on it. But it's got her name and it has her her diagnosis, and uh, then it's got emergency contact information. So my phone number, Priscilla's phone number, and Nanny, not crazy Nanny, but Priscilla's mom, Nanny. And they have sales all the time, so we just stock up on bands, on replacement bands. They're super cheap. They're like four dollars or something. I think when I they're think on they sale, they're like two fifty. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we got your bracelet. Which which hand do you wear it on? Which one do you want it? Which hand? You gotta put your bracelet on. Which hand do you want it? Girl, did you get skinnier? Is that possible? <laughs> Back to normal. Dun dun dun. Oh, it was FedEx. Oh, just FedEx. Huh? <laughs> okay. He doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> What are you doing sitting down, Scylla? The house is not perfect. I'm sorry, you said the place looked really wonderful, been here for seven years? <laughs> That's okay, just making sure. She's been freaking out about oh people goodness. coming to the house. Coming to my house? No, it looks great. Are here. It looks We're great. packing. Like, I'm it freaking great. out a little bit. I feel like we passed. Maybe like an A minus? It, was, it wasn't a test. Uh, maybe, maybe a B plus, but definitely. I think maybe an Gosh, you're so funny. Silly, your house is beautiful. Thanks. You keep a nice house. They even said, like, like, you can't even tell you. They, you guys have been here for this long. <laughs> I know, but, oh, whew, I'm glad that's over <laughs> Ridiculous. It's 11 o'clock, I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's been a rough morning. How does things like that stress you out, but then, like, other things, yeah. you're just like, uh, you all right? Yeah. 
ridiculous. So holy cow. I understand. I don't want I understand. Okay, so our rent our people that own this house haven't been back since we took over six years ago. Right. I would not want somebody that just walks in and be like, Oh my goodness, like But they're not going to. You knew they weren't going but to. You just never know. Like what if they're you know, what if they're meticulous about certain yeah. things? I mean the house was brand new, you know. Couple yeah. years old, looked brand new when when we moved in. We, so we've lived in it longer than the owners have. Right. So I don't want them to have that vision of what they think it's going to look like versus what it actually I is. I think they have to realistically expect. Uh, well, you just never know. I'm oh, so stressed out. Silly. Okay. <gasps> I understand, but you feel ridiculous. <laughs> Maverick likes company, don't you? You love it when people come to the house. You're like, I don't care. You can judge me. I don't care. I just like to see friends. All the time. Do you feel busy? Yes. Do you ever feel like so overwhelmed that you're just like, I'm gonna shut down and not do anything? That's how I feel right now. <laughs> like I, I have all these things to do. The I problem is when you come back from doing nothing, you still have all these things to I do. Know. All right, so you're gonna go put makeup on. I'm gonna video you putting makeup on your face. Yeah. People can watch it on Lipstick Mama on her yeah. Facebook. So she goes live on Lipstick Mama a lot. Uh, but this one, we're gonna do a recorded video. This yeah. ought to be fun. We haven't done this yet. Yeah, we've never done Lipstick Mama. And then we're gonna film for Triple P. And yeah. Why do I? Why do I? I know. To our list. More stuff. We get the question a lot about uh, about respite and mm -hmm. um, how respite ties into ABA therapy. So when Nanny's here or Summer's mm -hmm. here or Becca's here or anything like that, mm -hmm. like that's part of our interview process. We talk about we have therapists come into the home and and that we need our our respite providers to uh, follow suit with the therapy that we already do, um, you know, kind of to learn new things and take instruction from the therapist as well. That way we don't have any regression with Abigail, depending on who's here. That way everybody's on the same page. That is, it's imperative that everyone's on the same page because uh, behaviors will show up when, when uh, we have certain people here based on whether they're following through or not. So we've been super lucky with that. And that's that's definitely something you guys should do if you're hiring um, caregivers or respite workers in your house, anybody. Uh, you know, you need to make sure that these behaviors don't show up for these certain people just because, you know, the follow through isn't happening. So it's definitely part of the interview process um, when we do it. But we've been super fortunate. All of Abby's respite workers and caregivers always follow through with stuff. Also, you guys always comment how super strict Brandy is and nobody wants to make Brandy mad. So that's probably has a lot to do with it. No, I'm likable. <laughs> what you doing? Are you doing any any work today or are you just chilling? Brandy made me mad when she walked in, so we're taking it easy for a second. Oh, that's a good idea. You gonna do any work or is it all, all break all day? <laughs> You've been super chatty the last couple days. I don't think that's yours. She's doing so good. Got new skills. Mm -hmm. That that tank top's out. broken, okay. so the strap won't stay up. There you go. All right, now look, we're gonna do something new today. We're gonna put these dishes in. So pick one. Good. Where does that go? So with probing comes lots of prompting, also, Good job. if needed. Nope. Good job. You've only got a couple left. We're loading the dishwasher. Excellent. Nice. You've only got two left. No, it's very confusing. We always hang on. Look, if it's got water, we're going to dump that. Dump the water up. Yep. Good job. Okay. Dump that water off. Good job. Good. Really cool, you have one left and then you're done. 
Good. Nice Way job. Way to go. Look, it's empty, so we can close it up. That one's just clean. We just did that for pretend. It's a dirty dishwasher. Oh, sorry about that, Ed. I kind of rolled back out on you. You loaded the dishwasher. What's next? Eating. Yeah, let's see. It's available. Yay. Do you want the fridge or the pantry? Let's break. Let's do it. There we go. Is that Good. better? So I've been prompting hands down so that from our rested position, she's right. so that it doesn't become an automatic. So remember we did the other day, we said pantry, open. Good Very job. Cool. What'd you make it, Mom? I like chicken it. salad. Mmm. It looks tasty. Yeah, I took a what rotisserie chicken here? from what Publix. They make the best chicken salad. You can just set it up. Okay. I'm just gonna do that for now so that she's not tearing into this little mess. I like how you open it by yourself too. Awesome. Good job, Abby. Who would have ever thought? Right? right? That's so cool. All these multi these multi step Hang tasks. Hang your drinks right here. Do you remember those made you really thirsty the other day? You want your drink to bring with you? There, bring both. Cool. Snack time. She was like dying on this peanut butter cookie too, but she was like. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you just having the best time? <laughs> Hey, Mom and I are going to go, okay? Um, um, Mom and I are going to go, okay? Bye. Okay, now we're leaving. Bye. Bye. Oh, don't be upset. Don't don't be sad. Well, people had to be able to say bye to you. Like, that's that has to be a thing. You can't just freak out. What? What? You're not going. Me and Mom are going. Me and, Me and Isaiah can go for a car ride. Yeah. Not, not right now. You'll go get it. Hey, come here. Listen. Come here. We'll go get a treat in a little bit. You want to go get ice cream with your brother? Yeah. yeah? Okay. But in a little while. Okay? Here, look. We'll set a timer, okay? So you know when it's time to go. Say like like 5.30, Isaiah. I'll just set it for 20 minutes, okay? Okay, look, kiddo. Look. See this? Timer. You're going to you're gonna go get you're gonna go get ice cream when, when, that, when that goes off, okay? Priscilla and I are going to uh, the Jaguars. <laughs> So we will. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, people have to be able to leave, so. Um, we're going to the Jaguars kickoff, what is it called? Kickoff party? Kickoff party. You know, I'm such a huge football fan that I really wanted to go to, go see this. It's her. She's the football fan. All right, bye, bud. Thanks for watching your sister. Abby! Hey, where are we going? What are you, what are we going to get? You're going in the car to get candy. Good job. We are gonna go to Duncan. Hold on, girl, hold on. Look at you trying to open up the door. We're gonna go to Duncan, we're gonna get munchkins, and we're gonna get coffee. Yeah, does that sound good? Okay, she's so excited. Let's talk about your Jaguars attire you're rocking here. Yeah. And that teal necklace, this <laughs> Jaguars earrings. Look at the black shit. shirt. Yeah. Right, I'm ready. I don't like t-shirts, so I have to make cute outfits. I'm still in on the hunt for the perfect Jaguar print. I'm still on the hunt. I think I found the shoes, though. Like a shirt? Like a blouse? Yeah. Oh. A blouse. Ooh. You guys understand how big of a Jaguars fan Priscilla is? Such a big fan. You know, I think first off, we need to set the table for the Jaguars fan. My name is We were here like five minutes and we already saw two people that watched the channel. How crazy is that? And just so you know, wine does. We've been very clear since day one that that's not your issue to address. First time drinking wine since the surgery. Did you guys have fun? Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Good. Good. Listen to music. We ran to Duncan. We had fun as well. Did you? What'd you get at Duncan? Did you even bring coffee? I want more coffee. I didn't know y'all were coming Coffee's back in like okay. 10 minutes. That's all right. Hey, I gotta, I gotta do a comment of the day right here, okay? Okay. Alexander Cruz says, Can we please shout out Isaiah for his ability to differentiate between motif and theme? I'm a high school English teacher who is driving home from summer school, and I think he just gave me faith, lol. <laughs> I'm, I pay attention occasionally. You're welcome. It, it's also been a minute since you made a teacher proud, so...
Good job. Oh, no, oh, he hasn't. Oh. His teachers are always proud. Yeah, but you That's know. That's not what you say off camera. Yeah, but you know what? There's a little bit of truth in that. You can tell by the expression on his face. Thanks. Really <laughs> really appreciate good. that. That's a good one. Yep. <laughs> talk to my math. Priscilla ended up with a whole bunch of Jaguar swag. Oh. Look at you. Look at this. I'm like, I'm so excited. I actually, we were standing in line. I was like, oh, I'm going to have to buy one of those clear bags because this is what they make you take into the stadium. All right. Got one. Look at you. Got one. Ian, what else did we do? Isaiah, we talked to um, the person in charge of marketing and ticketing, like yeah. over the whole Jaguars. Yeah. We talked to him about um, in the stadium working on, uh, you know, a sensory friendly space and also providing sensory friendly items like they do at the zoo. Mm -hmm. Right. We went to the zoo event. So I went up, shook hands with him, gave him our card. He gave me his card, told me to get a hold of him. Um, he's like, you know, I need somebody with the expertise in that field. Well, so. you're looking at him, sir. <laughs> wow. So, mom's idea. Yeah. Yep. I'm so excited. Kind of it. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't that be cool to help out the Jaguars with making their stadium more sensory friendly? Yeah. And and I have to give a shout out to Tay Hayes. I actually reached out to him because he went to App State and he's a new Jaguar player. So I'm super excited about that. Mm -hmm. And he is willing to meet with us and Isaiah yeah. to talk about college and football, you know, if that's something you even want to pursue. Right. But I thought it was super cool that But he, he went to college where Isaiah wants to go to college. Right. So that's the biggest and he's thing. he's a football player. Yeah. And, and now he's a Jaguar. Yeah. So, All and he was things. like, yeah, I'll meet with you anytime. I was right. like, oh, okay. <laughs> What's the matter, kiddo? Are you not happy to see us? We didn't bring food. We have food here. You shouldn't even be hungry. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> kidding me? <you. laughs> we can have teach her a different way to want to like play. To play instead of coming up and pinching mom. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, I, just, I wanted to play, guys. <laughs> I want a tickle fight. <laughs> you were so my child. <laughs> like, just like, like, if, I, if I think about somebody tickling me, I start laughing. Girl, this tank top is useless. It serves no purpose. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh She's getting weak. She can't take it. She's spinning all the way to her room. Abigail! <laughs> I tell you. I know. Ready for a road trip? With summer. So much oh my fun. gosh, we're gonna rent a minivan. Are you all ready for bed? Yep. Hey, I love you. I had fun with you. Mm -hmm. Oh. I know. I hate when it's the day has to end. Hey, can you say bye to everybody? Bye. Close it out. <laughs> <laughs> I love your laugh. <laughs> Dorky laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so contagious, it makes me laugh. <laughs> She's losing it. <laughs>